Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, just to show I got the battery charger on. That top light there is 100%. Okay, it's been on the charger for about a week. And there's both the batteries. Okay, it's just hooked up to the one for charging for the accessory. So, let me see if I can do this. That is my engine battery. That is my accessory battery. Okay, so I'll take the charger off. Hard to do this one handed. Okay, so the charger's off. And these are my voltage gauges, the bottom one. Let's see if I can get you guys better. That's 13.1, that's the accessory battery. The top is my engine. So, fire her up see the engine one drops a little bit more there's a little bit of a load on it and as you can see it shoots right up 14.9 14.0 okay now i'm going to combine the batteries because this is the load test that we were talking about so i combined them 14.1 14.2 okay i have nothing on Nothing at all on, no lights, no nothing. Everything is in the off position. I'm gonna put my 50 inch light bar on. Okay, you can see immediately I'm at 13.7 from the accessory battery, 13.9 from the engine. This is running two batteries. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna put a pretty good load on my battery. Flip everything on. And the fan. See how that drops? And that's what we're talking about, where you don't want to maintain that 13.0. Now I'm just over exaggerating this load, but it's something that could be typical. See how we're dropping now, 12.9? It's something that could be typical that you might not be aware of when you're riding at night. Let me uh, uncombine these batteries. Okay, and this is what I typically, this is how I run it. So my engine battery sees nothing more than the stock system. We'll stay at 14.3, 14.2 all night until the fan cycles. And my second battery with the fan running, we'll put that in the stock position. I have a three position switch. 11.8 with everything on. That's about normal. I don't really let it drop below 10 much and it'll take all night to do that. Everything back off. Let's see it slowly climb up. And now to show you how much of a draw was on this, well, let me combine these again. And I'll do this from time to time running down the trail. Look at that, 13 volts. I don't do this much. I don't like to combine the batteries. So it'll slowly climb up as it charges the batteries. And this is essentially what an isolator does. I just like having full control over it. I'll show you guys that switch when we're done here. I'm gonna leave those combined for charging. That's what I typically do. All right, I'll show you this real quick. That is right there. That's my switch. It's three position. That's the on position. And then obviously we have off. So I leave it combined for charging. I leave it on when I'm just riding around. All right, that's the load tests. Two group 34 Napa AGMs, brand new. They have one ride on them. Keep them charged all the time. All right, see you guys.